Hi, this is an interview for Edularity. Today we are with Jeff Robin. What do you do with a kid who says, I don't want to do a project or I don't want to do that project? Most well, of the teachers in Latin America, especially, they tend to say, you do this because I'm telling you to do it. Yeah. Right? What I say to them is find something else that they want to do. You say, oh, yeah, well, what are you interested in? You got to do something. I've had um, some very conservative students. And in America, we have a whole population of very conservative people that don't want to have anything to do with art. And I said, well, look, what do you want to do? And he's like, well, I want to use my hands. I said, well, we're going to paint a mural. We need 30 canvases, two feet by two feet with stretchers, and we need to hang them perfectly on a wall. Could you do that? He's like, yeah. So he made 30 canvas is two feet by two feet, hanging them perfectly with one inch gap, all of them five high, six wide, down a wall. It was beautiful. It looked like some kind of Salawit sculpture. And I'm like, look at this. This is beautiful. It was art. It was art. He's like, did you make me do art? I said, I didn't make you do art. You chose to do art. So you can talk to people. If you're doing project-based learning, you're not speaking in front of the classroom anymore. You're talking to the kids individually. So you have plenty of time. If somebody doesn't want to do something, well, let them do something different. I call this planning and letting go. You plan the project out. You show your exemplar. And then because you planned it and you did it, you're cool about letting go because you know they're going to learn just as much making those 30 canvases and hanging them as somebody that's going to make two paintings. There might be different things, but everything's different for everyone. You know you're in trouble when you think everybody needs to learn the same thing. Thank you. This notion that we have that everyone has to learn this certain amount of the same thing. They talk about civics. Everybody needs to know about civics. They're going to have different opinions about civics. So all of a sudden it's not the same thing. Just because you go over something in your classroom doesn't mean that everybody's going to get it either. So this notion that that you're going to get all the standards or everybody's going to learn the same thing, that you can even do that is, is a fallacy. It's a lie. And why would you want that? I could see if you were training an army where you wanted everybody to be the same, but that's not what we're doing. And it's not something I'd want to do. The idea that we're all different. I'm a teacher, artist, father, surfer, sailor, and that's cool. That's me. And everybody else can be different. And what makes the world a great place is that everybody's different from each other. Everybody learns differently from each other. And when you try and squeeze a student into the box that you understand, you're taking away part of their authentic interests. And of course, I get inspired by other people. I mean, I go to things and think, oh, that's so cool. That doesn't mean I want to do it. And I think we have to listen to people. We have to draw them in. And the very, like the smartest kids in the class, the kids that learn by reading, the kids that learn by listening, we want to do fun stuff with them. We want to see them shine, but we also want to bring the other kids up. We want to set the floor, not set the ceiling. Are you listening? Damn.